Hello! I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. So, Arknights. Yes. So, missed last, er, yesterday's stream. Or rather, I canceled it, I should say. But yes. So yeah, just feeling kind of tired. <laughs> Yes, I've talked about it before, but the there has been some damage done to this mechanical arm of mine. And just like a real arm, it does cause some unpleasant neural feedback from time to time. Uh, and that's, you know, kind of just a thing. <laughs> yeah, more particularly, I've been keeping it in a sling because you don't want a metal arm just kind of waving around wildly. I don't have it on right now that you can see on the stream, but, uh, anyway. And, uh, it is both a literal and a metaphorical pain in the neck. It is, uh, a, quite a bit of strain, and that has been kind of tiring. But yes, so. Basically, yesterday I just needed a little bit of time to, a little bit more time to rest. I spent more time today, as I was able to, uh, yeah, I wasn't working as much today, so I spent some more time getting a little bit more rest in. Yeah, just having my arm supported by not my neck is a is a pretty big uh, benefit. But yeah, not a whole lot to be said, though, other than that. Last stream of the week. But yes, next week we will be continuing Operation Loose and Arrowhead, unless we... Unless the event turns out to be way, way, way shorter than I would have expected, which I don't anticipate. But yes, one way or the other, we will be continuing the event today, and we will be continuing the event next week until such time as it is done. But yes, again, that should continue Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't think that we will be... I don't think we will have time to do it on Thursday unless I get up at like 1am to do it which I don't see happening. But yes, um, I guess at that point I might as well just stay up, but either way, it's not happening. Um, let's see. But yes, all of this is to say we will be continuing the event for as long as we need to, and it seems like we might need to for a little bit longer than I was perhaps initially anticipating. Didn't make quite as much progress during this week as I was hoping for, and of course, the stream, or the lack of stream yesterday was a factor. But yes, it should happen. It should happen. I'm usually not as busy in the start of the week, so I should have more time to get more rest in, so I should be less tired and more able to stream. So, that all being said, let us get into things, because I do not want to delay too much. But yes. So, Operation CR4. Once we have completed this, we should then have access to Fuse, and we can start seeing what he can do beyond uh, explode things. But yes. So, we started this mission, but we weren't able to clear it. And I haven't had the opportunity, or rather, I haven't taken the opportunity to review the footage from last time to... Uh, refresh my memory on what exactly went wrong. But, if I remember correctly, part of the issue was the fact that we weren't... Yeah, drones were not getting shot down at a reasonable time, so some of them passed through our defenses. Um, we could maybe fix that by placing a sniper or something like there. So again, we do still have the issue of drones coming from here. That is potentially solvable with, uh, yeah, just non, uh, yeah, again, that is potentially solvable with a non-sniper unit, but a sniper unit would probably be more applicable. But yes, we've run into some issues with the invisible stealth crossbowmen. But yeah, they cause some stuns at inopportune times. Is there any particular way to make them not stun, I wonder? Okay. Capable of stunning targets for long durations after being charged up. Launches a straight shot when positioned in a straight line with an allied unit. 
fires one bolt in that target's direction that deals arch damage and inflicts stun. So it doesn't seem as though there is any specific way to prevent it. So I guess we just kind of need to kill things before they can uh, be a problem. But yeah, I remember last time one issue we did have was that we weren't getting quite as much damage on this side as I would like. But yeah, I think that's where a lot of the issues came in. Like we had Croissant there and she was not outputting the damage because that's not her purpose. Croissant could maybe be better used on the right hand side, but one way or the other we just need more damage on the left. And I think we can manage that without too much additional difficulty. But yes, a little bit tired still today. So you'll have to excuse me if no my energy is not quite as vibration or what on earth? Scenery here, doctor. <laughs> what word did I just make up there? I think I was trying to say vivacious and vibrant, but they just kind of became one and the same. So yes, with, with uh, Iana, we do have a way to uninvisible enemies. But I don't know that we have a really great, like, use case for that right now. I mean, obviously we have a reason to do it, but I don't know if we have a great opportunity to do it. What with the limitation that she can only be placed on melee tiles. We can't place her too far forward, even with healing and with the ability to not take damage sometimes. Because yeah, she only doesn't take damage once, basically. So it's really not much of a, not much of a defensive. Hmm. Nullifies the attacker's invisibility for six seconds. I know that this also, yeah, immediately nullifies the invisibility of enemies around for eight seconds. Okay, so positioning her with someone in front of her could probably be good. I think, yeah, I think Omniscient Tactics is the play. The only question is still, where do we place her exactly? Given her nature, we probably don't need much defense on her at all. Or much healing on her at all, if any. But yes. I think this is okay. Yes, Estelle is pretty good. It still is pretty good to place early because she doesn't she isn't as reliant mm -hmm. on a medic as someone else. Today, Go for me. Yes, Iana of course can't do anything in particular right now, but that's okay. Gathering because now she will. Stay close. Not that much damage on her, but it's an improvement. Should be enough to help a little bit more uh, survivability on Estelle. But yes, right hand side, we want Jessica. And Ayla could do well on the around here. Given what we know about her, it doesn't matter so much where we place her, I don't think. So this is a battlefield. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Right, I didn't notice, I forgot about the enemies up top there, um, hmm. So. Assault. This might be a little bit less than ideal, actually, now that I think about it, positioning it right there. Because ideally we want them to get a little bit closer. Actually, I forgot what, um... Yeah, reduces hit rate. Ready when you are. More style in my sights. Hmm, okay. So we can do some slowing here. Yes, the drone didn't seem to be affected, which is a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Um Jessica should be back soon. That will slow them down. Do we Sneaky sneaky? This definitely isn't the ideal place or way to use rope, but 
She is physically present, so. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. What have I done? Huh. So, barricades aren't solid, it seems like, which is interesting. But yeah, Ayla is not doing too, too much here. When you are. I probably could have deployed, or I could have used Iana's skill to get that drone down. Um, so yeah, rope was probably a bad choice here, but at least we're not in a situation where she's terribly detrimental to use. Hmm. Okay. Iana is having some problems with the fact that she can't... Uh, yeah. Um, actually, oh dear, well, I was going to say rope going down is maybe bad, but it's not that bad, to be honest. It's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, we're not getting a lot of enemies on the right side, which is good. Um, we do need some healing on the left, though. So yes, Jessica is more than capable of handling what we're dealing with right now. Ah, hmm. You know, this would probably be a decent place to deploy rope. But... Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh dear. Alright, we are about to lose. Hmm. Let's see. It's all my fault. Sorry. I guess, sorry. actually. Yeah, so probably what we would want to do... I think our strategy there was pretty sound, but Croissant should probably be here instead. That way we can have a little bit more... We can have her not be taking hits from the... Well, okay. It kind of goes both ways. Because if we put her up here then the crossbowmen won't shoot Jessica, which is good. But if we put her up there, the crossbowmen will shoot her, which is bad. But it's not necessarily that bad. If we were to place rope here, we could still make use of her. Yeah, we can have her not. Um, yeah, if we place rope there, we can have her not. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Rope. Yeah, we can have her pull enemies in so that they don't get past uh, her sant while she's stunned. Yes, rope doesn't have a skill that lets us manually pull enemies in. But you know who does? Actually, you know what would probably... What could be similarly, if not more effective, is we could also use a, we could use a slow operator, actually. We could use a slow operator or we could use a push operator. Either one would be fine, I think. Given that we're facing enemies with high defense on the right, it might actually be a little bit more effective to use a slow operator. That way we get a little bit more arch damage on them as well as they move. But yes. So, I think Earth Spirit is probably our best option currently. Beyond that, I think our team composition is pretty okay. Nothing majorly awful. Ayla did not do very good in her position, but that was probably more of a... Yeah, I don't know. I think that was mostly just kind of a... Hmm. Actually, I guess... Now that I think about it, don't worry. I don't need Jessica to be here specifically. But yeah, I'm not sure if she'd do much better here, but it's not like we... Well, no, we did have issues with her not taking the drones out before. Hmm. Hard to say. Um... Yeah, again, I had wanted Ayla facing inwards here. 
to do a little bit more damage to enemies as they come, but I don't think that was really helping us that much. Um, optical interference is fine, I think. Could this, no, I was going to say, could this be beneficial, but I don't think it'd be any more so. Um, because, yeah, we want those drones dealt with. Um, and, yeah, the way she was, she just wasn't taking care of the drones. Yeah, probably we want to wait on the traps until we're a little bit better set up, actually. That was probably a blunder on my part. Um, my pushover alert should pull a lot of enemies here. I have to get serious now. Are there other ways that we could make issues for the crossbowmen? Eat this. Hmm. We could place Iana here or so. If we wanted to place her like here, this is probably not the skill to use, but. That it is a little bit risky, unless we were to do something like this, actually. I'll definitely prove myself this time. Yeah, again, I don't think I've made the right call here necessarily, and I realize now with how we placed uh with how we've placed perfumer, we do need to place Jessica here. Actually, I didn't see the the trail that they take. Hmm. Yeah, this is not this is not a Here's good place for Yana, I don't think, actually. Um Yes. Stay calm, my friend. Okay, no. she did survive. <clears throat> she did survive. The only question is, how long will she survive? And again, I think the the answer to that is not so long. Not as long as we would like them to. We could maybe... What else could we do, honestly? Um, another medic, but I don't think having another medic on Iana specifically would really be all that helpful to us. Um... Placing Earth Spirit, I guess, could be beneficial, but it could also be it could also be worse. I do think that this is a bad place to put Earth Spirit, to be honest. Um Hmm. Honestly, that space may have been more designed with, with Gersmoths in mind than it was with uh our units. Oh dear, who did we lose? Ah, Earth Spirit. Um, not the... <coughs> not, to get yourselves oh, no. not the worst thing in the world. Um, but not being able to be healed is pretty close. Um, yes, let fragrance revive your mind. Honestly, if you want treatment, she's not doing too bad. Hmm, I don't... Yeah, I was gonna say... She, I don't like what's going on now, though. Um... Um, right, that's not going to help us in any way, because that doesn't... This is not the skill, I don't think, when uh, Doc has a medic directly behind him. But it's a skill. Hmm. It occurs to me that, yeah, even though she can't block, she can still... Uh, how do we want to place Tamimi? Again, we're, we're in a situation where Tamimi really can't do anything, like, special. She can do stuff, but she can't do anything that's, like, really good. We can't use her skill, specifically. Um, we want to reinforce this because that is going to go down if it doesn't get reinforced. And if it goes down, that will be very bad. Come on, chill. Ah, actually, I've just realized. Where do you need me? Um, nothing you can Please. do, I suppose, but yeah. Uh, Time to this here new gear. Rasat is outside of healing range, so we should have... Yeah, the place where we had... Well, I was going to say, the place where we have 
perfumer. We should have had uh, Tomimi, but if we'd done that, then we wouldn't have been able to heal Iana, and she wouldn't have been able to contribute at all to the earlier defense. Um, this is... what did I... oh. I placed one of the uh, support things instead. Alright, one thing or the other. We're not seeing any enemies slip past us, <clears throat> so that's good. Ah, invisible enemies can't trigger those mines. That's interesting. Okay, so she may be stunned, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world, at the very least. I suppose you might as well give her a shot. Why not? But yeah, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't take too long to recharge or recharge. That's not the word I'm looking for. Unfortunate. But yes, it does decay that quickly. Okay, we're good. Okay, we've won. Anyway. Could have been a cleaner win, but a win is a win still. And I will not complain. See. <clears throat> Echno seems ready with the equipment she's wearing, but her constant ear scratching tells me otherwise. Should we act now? Hold on. We'll wait for her to land first. I don't want her to crash into her when I go down. Hey, hey, hey! Slow down! You're dropping me too fast! He thinks that's fast? Like a tiny little feather falling slowly, slowly through the air. This isn't the best time to be laughing yourself silly. She's in position. Everything's in place. You can go. Ayla grabs the safety rope with both hands, swifts her body out the window, out of the window, and stands on the outer wall, trying to balance her suspended body against the wind. She waits until the wind gradually dies down and frees a hand to straighten her cap that had slanted in the wind as she flashes a smile to Fuse. Soon after, she lets go of the rope with her remaining hand and disappears out the window, leaving only a rope sliding quickly down from the windowsill. <sighs> All right, seems like they managed to connect. Oh, why are you here too? Quiet, and pay attention. I almost cut a major cable. What happened to those people following you? Took them off. Didn't Papa tell you not to get involved? Yeah, he did. Then, why did you come? Make sure you don't mess up this project. Why, you... Are you talking to me like that just because you know what to do? Well, do you? Uh... I did a quick scan of the puppet's arm controls on the way down here. The hydraulic driver is the one causing the problem. Hand me your tools. They're right above. Hurry! We would have caught them a long time ago if that woman didn't get in our way. Ugh. Time to deal with my troubles. Boss, good news. The cables are free. So soon? Alright, get Techno back up and we'll get back to assembling the puppet's limbs. She says she wants to stay in there. What? I said I want to stay here. I'll help out with the installation from here. Uh, I'm glad you want to help us out, but can you promise you won't bother Miss Ayla over there? Say that again and I'll fly right up and smash your face in. <laughs> uh, Miss Ayla, do you mind if she stays here for my face's sake? Of course. Techno is a loyal friend. She doesn't want me to risk my life all alone at such a height. How can I feel anything other than gratitude? Hey, look, the puppet's arm is moving again. That's Techno over there, but 
Why is someone else with her? Who is that? An engineer? A technician? Techno's assistant? An assistant? A real? Techno never liked other people getting involved in her designs. Uh, let me take a look again. Oh, something's blocking my view. Hey, you over there. Can you tell who it is? You talking to me? Yeah, you've been looking that way for a good while now. Can you make out who's with Techno? You mean Ayla? That's a little complicated. Whoa, am I seeing things or did that one just hit Techno on the head? The last guy who did something like that almost got a finger bitten off. Uh, I guess you could say she's a friend of Techno's? He slipped away so fast. <clears throat> uh, tough one, staying silent after tasting one of my punches. Get out of the way, unless you plan on dying here. Ah! Uh, hold on. Techno, we'll be right there. That woman won't touch another hair on your head. Get your hands off me. What are you up to? Get away from the window. Techno, are you alright? Why are you up there? Papa sent me to watch these foreigners, and I heard you screaming. What did that woman do to you? I'll be down to help right away. Uh, no, it's nothing. I'm fine. I just... just... <laughs> I only bopped her on the head. Did it hurt? No. And why did you scream? I, uh... Anyway... I'm totally fine. You guys go back and tell Papa that everything's okay. I'll watch her and nothing will go wrong. Techno, pass me the soldering tools. Thanks. Here you go. She's willing to play assistant? See? They're working so well together. Everything's okay, right? The calm before the storm, I'm sure. The puppets are all done, boss. Yeah. Is everybody ready? Amigos, this is the hardest part. You must give them a pulse. Give them blood, vitality, life. I've been ready for a while, boss. Give the order. Hello, everyone. After more than six, works, uh, six months of hard work and dedication, we've overcome our obstacles and finally arrived at the end. Thank you all for sticking with it. Listen up, everybody. Our first rehearsal is about to begin. Come on, girls, let's bat those eyelashes. They're alive. I've pictured this many times. From the flyers, design drafts, and what everyone was saying, I figured I'd have to compromise on my design. The pair could never be what I wanted them to be. What about now, looking at them with your own eyes? All I can say is, it's beyond what I could have imagined myself. Yana is once again struck by their beautiful faces and delicate construction as she looks at the two puppets blinking away. They look like beautiful art installations when they were standing still, but their movements have now transformed them into the two most beautiful girls in town. Yana is unable to glimpse their eyes as their thick lashes lower too quickly for her to get a good look. Suddenly, one of them lowers her head, turning towards Iana. Her lower eyelashes lift without dropping back down, and their gazes meet. A pair of vermilion pupils. Why are her eyes orange? It's the morning sun reflected in them. She'll dance under the sun as much as she likes. Oh, so it's the sun making that color. You know, we originally wanted to have their eyes in black because it'd be easier, but Techno disagreed. He thinks black is the worst color to pair with the sun. No, she's got it wrong. The worst color to pair with the sun is actually white. The puppets begin to stretch their limbs as the crowd cheers on. Moving each, each joint takes a group of people in all their strength, shouting as they pull the rope in unison. On pull, uno. Dos, tres, pull! Ugh. The puppets lift their knees and take a step forward. 
All right, everybody. Uno, dos, tres, release. <laughs> the puppets wave their arms and brush them against their sides. Okay, uno, dos, tres, again. Yeah. They walk briskly through the residential buildings along a path made by the spectators, occasionally bending down to fit below the skyways. They eventually stop in the neighborhood central square. Very impressive machining. If only Zumama was here. One, two, three. Uh -oh. Thanks, friend. Want to find a better spot to enjoy the show? I'm good. The view from this window isn't bad. What time is it? Yes, almost here. As the sky gradually darkens and the twin moons rise from the far side of the city, the moonlit concrete floor appears to resemble a frozen lake in winter. As the two puppet dancers twirl on the ground, the moonlight highlights their bodies as they move to the castanet's rhythm, alternating between strength, straightening and twisting. Music pours out from the skyscrapers, roofs, alleys, and even some dimly lit windows. This is an impromptu ensemble performance without a rehearsal or conductor. The sounds flow freely along with the puppet dancer's choreography. Their skirts catch the notes landing at their feet, transforming them into a part of their beautiful dance. The tall puppets lower their heads, watching those at their feet. Those people, small and light as a feather, follow in their dance steps. They leap into the air and come back down to the ground. Still think I wasn't talking sense? It was well worth it. So, you were willing to help them out because you envisioned something like this? No, I never thought of it that way. It wouldn't have been fun otherwise. Whoa, amazing. Who taught you the harmonica? It was Mama. She can do anything. She can play this, she can dance, she can draw, and even make super yummy croissants. Mama's my favorite person. I have the utmost respect for this superhuman woman, but I must insist, it should be pronounced Poisson. Poisson? <laughs> uh. <sighs> Forget it. I'm going to get some coffee. Very good, very good. Senor Renel, I've finished inspecting the box, and it'll take a few weeks to repair it. But I've managed to reproduce a portion of the drum according to that hidden score. Would you like to hear it? Yes. The melody pours out of the box, bringing Renel back more than a decade, to a time when he hid behind a door to eavesdrop drop on the tinkling coming from his mother's workshop. Judging by, by this little bit I've restored, it must be a lullaby. An extremely simple tune. Yes, I was surprised when I first heard it, because I recall that your mother crafted elaborate melodies into her, her older works. She wrote this piece herself. She's no professional composer, but she, as a mother, wrote this simple lullaby for her child. Nothing special about it. But it must be special to that child, at least. Senor Reynel, you've been staring out the window this whole time. Is something there? Nothing much. Just watching the moons rise. Very well done, Doctor. Thank you. Yeah, one of the concerns that I had was I wasn't sure if we'd be able to... Oh. Alright, explosion plus hostages. It's fuse time, baby. Anyway, as I was saying, one concern I've had is that I wouldn't be able to afford all of the different outfits that are available, but I do think if it might take me doing a few extra stages as well, but if I 
you yeah get a three star on all of the stages and maybe do a few of the like resource stages off stream i should have enough originate prime to afford all of the costumes for all of the characters or at least all of the yeah limited ones but yes so use time friend of chaos rainbow operator code name fuse I said everything I need to. Let's get to it. Very nice, very nice. I suppose my intuition of giving him a quite deep voice wasn't too far off, so maybe I should have stuck with that a little bit more. Ah, temporary cover. Inter intercepts direct shots from nearby enemies for up to one second. It can be used up to four times. Four times. I assume that means you can deploy it four times in a mission. All right, so now that we have gotten Fuse, it's time to get more Fuse. Fuse's token, used to improve the potential of Fuse, an unusual helmet. You often wonder what his expression is behind the mask. All right, we should probably have more than enough to afford all of these, but if we don't, then we'll just have to live with it. Okay, but this is definitely enough. Definitely enough. All right, hmm. this is, yeah, I was gonna say it's still blinking. I guess it just does that for whatever reason. Anyway, so Yuzu is now on our team. I didn't see what type of operator he is. Oops. Oh, whoops, I didn't, didn't mean to click auto deploy there. So let's get Fuse. Um, who do we want to switch out for Fuse? I suppose, um, perhaps Earth Spirit? I don't know if that's going to be the play going forward, but... Yeah, what type of operator was Fuse? Didn't pay that much attention, to be honest. Um, ah, he is a guard, okay. So actually, I might want to swap him out for... Actually, hold on. Is he... If he's a Centurion, then I guess we might want to swap him out for Estelle. Yes, Fuse is, in fact, a Centurion. Okay. So. At your command. Fuse. All right. It's been good running with you, Estelle. I very much appreciated your assistance. But we now have a more thematically appropriate operator to use. So, my apologies. All right, Fuse. Fuse is good at exploding things. This much is known. But how good is he in truth? You're about to find out. No problem. I'll find some time to watch them. I did not understand what he said, but <laughs> we're going to promote him regardless. No problem, no problem. Okay, so. We now have Ballistic Shield, so that is a 17% ranged physical resistance. That's nice. No other effects. Attacks all block enemies. Usual stuff for a Centurion. His default skill, Force Recon, gives... Yeah. So, while that's active, it gets plus one to attack range. Takes quite a long while to recharge. Ah, okay, so it is an ammo skill. So yeah, so it could, in theory, be active for quite a while. Um, attack range plus one, attack plus 10%, attack speed plus 60, and cluster charge, the classic. Upon skill activation, place a cluster charge on the high ground tile in front, causing five explosions on the passable tile behind it. Each explosion deals 380% of attack as physical damage to surrounding targets, can only be used when this unit is facing a high ground tile with a passable tile behind it. Can only be used three times per deployment. So yes. So when he's facing a wall that has a tile that enemies can walk on behind it is when this skill is usable. So it wouldn't be usable on barricades or anything like that, I don't think, because those don't count as high ground, I don't believe. And they also don't count as Actually, I guess they do count as passable tiles. We did see that from using rope. But I suppose if we if we got no other benefit out of using her, it was that. Anyway, potential.
There we go. Views can be no better. Very good. All right. So, how do we want to swing this? Um, Buster Charge feels a little bit more situational, but it is also the funny Fuse move. And this is the mission after we got Fuse, so I imagine if there's any time that the developers were wanting you to use Fuse, it would probably be now. So, we'll use the funny Fuse move. Um, as for whatever else, we've got a map here, and we do have what looks like a, probably a decent space to use Fuse. Got some barricades there, so we could probably put a unit here to block and Fuse here, you know, well here, to cluster bomb this area. I'm trying to remember, I was trying to remember if Fuse was an operator who, like, could use his cluster bomb through a wall, but I think that you can use it. I don't think it works like that, or at least I don't think you'd place it directly on a wall like you would, say, uh, some of the other, uh, some other operators who have explosive abilities. Like I know, uh, Hibana and was it Thermite? I think his ability uses Thermite. I don't know if his name is Thermite or if his code name is Thermite, rather. Um, yeah, they have, like, breaching abilities. But I don't know... I don't remember if Fuse's Cluster Bomb... I don't think it's used for breaching. It's used for room clearing. Um, anyway. We're playing Arc Knights and not Rainbow Six Siege, so I should probably get a move on if I want to keep up the pace. So let's take a little sip. Sip. <coughs> Pardon Set. And let's get into things. Pardon? Yes, I should. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I should go uh, replace my ice pack. Or rather, I, you know, I don't need to put it back on currently, but I do need to put it away because it is rapidly getting not cold. So, be right back. We're going to take a short break. All right, I have returned. So, we resume. So yes, Yana, Ayla, Hughes, and Doc, we now have Liana. We've got a good idea of where we're going to want to put Hughes, and probably, we, given that she's our only defender currently, Poisson would be probably a decent choice for up here. Other than that, though, I don't think there's a whole lot of strategy to be done before we start the mission, so let's start the mission, huh? Only so much thinking. Last night, a pair of giant wooden puppets appeared in, in the Sridhar community. Their magnificence shocked everyone who had the opportunity to see them. These fine puppets were created by one of the local artists, and during yesterday's rehearsal, they waltzed and fluttered under the moonlight. I, we can see from how the video, we can see from the video how they dance so elegantly under the artist's control, almost as if they were alive. The neighborhood is known for violence, gangs, and homeless, contributing to a high crime rate. It's an area that most usually steer clear of, but despite the risk, the performance last night attracted lots of visitors. Now let's go to our reporter on the scene and see what the attendees have to say. Yo, boss, uh, un helado, por favor. Mm, boss? Senor, what were you doing when those two puppets showed up? I was jogging at the time. Uh, suddenly, I saw a huge face between the two buildings. I was so shocked, I fell to the ground. But then I mustered up my courage, walked over there, and watched the whole performance. And when it was all over, my legs couldn't stop shaking. I wasn't scared this time, though. I was stunned. Well, we have been seeing a lot of enemies who can stun, so... <laughs> okay, thank you again for your time, senor. <laughs> From the way he's walking, it looks like he was telling the truth. Now, let us turn the camera over to some of the artists who live here. Maybe we can ask them why they made this pair of giant puppets. What stories will they have for us? Senores, senoras, please place your bets. 
Shh. Excuse me? They're busy watching the television. Oh, look at the little girl who just walked by. She's one of the main players here. Senorita, a moment, please. Hmm? Hmm? I hear that you're the mastermind behind this performance, for you to take on such a major role at your age. Yeah, yeah, get to the point, I'm busy. Sure, what's with the two puppets? Did you go through all that trouble to draw attention to this community? Eh. A few years ago, two buildings in our neighborhood burned down in a fire. None of you turned your attention to us. A fire? Nobody remembers. I knew it. The puppet show is to commemorate that fire. It's to commemorate our friends who left us that day. That's why we arranged to open our festival on the same day as the fire. But Galleria Cristalwa is also scheduled to have its widely anticipated opening ceremony that day. Is there any pressure from that at all? Maybe a little before the rehearsal, but basically not at all now. It is what it is, as they say. The performance on our opening day will be even more sensational. I don't think an art museum can hold a candle to our performance. No matter how they spruce up their gimmicks, their opening ceremony is only there to tell us one thing. That Raynell can do business. Why did you turn off the TV, Milos? I was watching that. You should get some sleep. I don't want to. I'm not tired at all. Sleep. Milos, why are you frowning like that? Why aren't you happy for me? Go to sleep, Raynell. <laughs> it's been more than a decade. Their birthday present that should have been mine is finally back in my hands. I'm delighted. Really? Look at what a mess you are now. Say what you want, I'm not convinced. That music box was supposed to be mine. Before my birthday, she said she'd give me one. That old wasn't happy about it. How could she have made a piece with absolutely no economic value? She's a genius, a star. Her works are meant to be sold at exhibitions for high prices. She wasn't meant to sit on a boy's bedside table, never to be known by the masses. But it's made it back to you after so many years, returned to its rightful owner. I love it. Even though it's been modified beyond recognition, I love it. What about her, Milos? Will she like my gift? Everything you've given her, she couldn't bear to let go. Why aren't you say any, saying anything? I do want to sleep now, Milos. You still need to figure out that guy's name, though, but now is not the time. Now is the time to go through at a reasonable pace. I saw you on TV. Shouldn't have showed off like that for the media. Papa, you're the one who suggested we make the giant puppets. If we, you were going to worry about showing off, you should have thought of that sooner. <sighs> Heck no, I just got a letter from the government. The letter says that if the Arts Festival is a success, a group of Italian cultural exchange representatives will come to our puppet show. You mean, we might get government support? More likely we will end up at their beck and call. Warlords, merchants, politicians, there are plenty of men with eyes on this plot of land. We're getting too much attention in too short a period of time. It's too much pressure. Maybe this just goes to show how useless I am. Don't say that, Papa. Before you got here, nobody cared if this place burned for a whole day and night. There wasn't even anyone here to report on it. It's because you've been here for us that we got to live peaceful lives the past couple of years. All of us know the work you've been putting in for our sakes. Everything you've done, you did so we could walk under the sun again, no? We're another step closer to our goal now. What are you worried about? Let me think about it some more, Techno. I can't let the rest of you walk under the sun without any protection. I'm sure Team Rainbow can offer a little bit of sunscreen, perhaps. Senor Milos, have you and Senor Reynel seen the Street Art Community's puppet show? You chose to hold the Galleria Cristal's uh, opening ceremony on the same day as their arts festival. Clearly, their successful rehearsal has taken away much of the attention that deservedly would have been yours. Do you feel any pressure? 
please make way, ma'am. Senor Milos, please answer our questions. Sorry, but we are not planning on taking anything from the press today. Senor Milos, is your silence an indication of the pressure you're under? That's close enough, senora. Senor Milos. Is Miss Ayla here yet? Yes, she's waiting in the exhibition hall. I need to talk to her, make sure nobody disturbs us. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Miss Ayla, sorry to keep you waiting. You'll have to forgive me. The outside is packed with reporters. Mr. Milos, why did you call me back from the art community all of a sudden? You're getting along well with them, aren't you? Yes, I am. The people there are vivacious. And even though some of them are sick, their urge to create is as strong as ever. People who call themselves artists are a dime a dozen, but I have to admit that the people there truly love art. What about Raynell? What do you think of him? He... he's an interesting man. Is that all? I'm afraid I can't see any of that in him. You once told me that Mr. Cespan's paintings made you uncomfortable. That's because you have never met him. The discomfort that his personal painting, personal presence, brings to others is a hundred times greater than that of his paintings. If it wasn't for him, you would have seen those qualities in Raynell. Nothing is beneath Cespan as Cosmias' most famous artwork dealer. Be it verbal attacks, threats of violence, or economic suppression. He will do whatever it takes to make the artist working with him follow his every command. Not even his wife, Raynell's mother, could escape this fate. That's a pain no creator should bear. It must have been an agonizing marriage. You're right. She even destroyed her own work as a form of protest, but only a week later, the damaged portrait was sold at auction for an astronomical price on account of its so-called philosophical and profound philosophical meaning. She should have left. She couldn't. She couldn't leave her child to the arrogant rat, especially a child that very much resembled herself. <sighs> Is there a reason you're trying to get me to sympathize with him now of all times, Mr. Milos? You're a sharp one, to the point that it's frustrating. Galeria Cristalo. The opening ceremony is set to be held on the anniversary of Raynell's mother's passing. That day has a special significance to him. Perhaps you and your team can help him out a little. Just a short while will do. If you could work it so the two events are even just one day apart. I'm sorry, Mr. Milos, but I can't. If you've seen the news, then you know what that day means to the community. Miss Ayla, you should do what you can. This isn't a request. It's a reminder. Hmm. It doesn't matter how emotional or stirring their puppet show is, it will be overshadowed on the day the Galleria opens. Hmm. You're awake. Were you outside? Yes, I met with Miss Ella. What did she say? She refused. I'm not surprised. Why did you ask me to call her back here? The puppet show would be in good hands if she were to run it, and then, perhaps, there would come a day when it forms an iconic performance that represents this place as they hope it will. But it won't be on that day. I almost sympathize with them. They're spending so much time, effort, and energy on this. To tell the truth, if it wasn't for the scheduling conflict, I would even go and see the performance myself, compared to the junk that the art buyers are gobbling up downstairs. I am a lot more interested in their creation. It's been some years since you last said you liked a particular piece. Right. Let them be. It's just a shame. No matter how overwhelming a piece of art is in the beginning, it can't compare to a magnificent death. The last explosives are in place. I'll make the final adjustments tomorrow to ensure everything goes as planned on the day of the ceremony. 
Hmm. So maybe Raynell isn't as, uh, isn't as ignorant of all of the plotting that's going on as I had initially assumed. Maybe he is, in fact, asking for some of these things to be happening. The only question is what exactly he intends to explode. Thank you for everything you've done, Milos. Or me. No, no thanks necessary. Did you know, Raynell, when you talked about destruction just now? Your eyes were sparkling. Just like when you used to talk to me about creation. It's just similar, that's all. But it's more than enough to me. Hmm. I must say I'm somewhat troubled. Who is it? Why now? It's fine. I'll go get it. How is a single phone call taking so long? You won't shut up. Who is it? That captain. What does he want? What else could it be? The community. Whatever. Give me the phone. Hello, Mr. Matteo? Yes, I'm very busy right now. If you need anything, we'll talk later. The man briskly hangs up the phone and rips the line out. Fair enough. So it looks like he's not too keen on Matteo also. I can't help but wonder exactly what it is that he is planning to explode. What exactly it is he is planning to give a magnificent death to. I can't help but feel that it's probably not what I would initially assume. I don't think that he's probably immediately trying to uh, cause too much destruction. I guess if we place Fuse there, he can't actually arm any enemies, which is maybe less than ideal. Um. Oh, right. We switched out. All right. Hmm. Hmm. So now we've kind of put ourselves in a bad spot, but... Time to prove myself. Well, now we've put ourselves in a worse spot. Oh, well. Mm hmm? I have to get serious now. Mm hmm. Oh, well. Um. Yeah. Uh, just didn't think it through very well. Oh, well. Can I... Or no, can I not deploy... Oh, no, I can't deploy these there. Silent. I don't know that I really want to, given everything that's currently occurring, but... It's a decision. And I'm sticking to it. Um... Reckless Grenadier. Upon taking damage for the first time while unblocked, fires an explosive in each cardinal direction and does something that I am not privy to. Oh, hold on. Oh, I just realized Fuse is in a really bad position. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, I hope this is worth it to see the funny Fuse ability. Okay. Well... I definitely picked a bad... Yeah, this is not a great strat, but... Uh, that's not in attack because it doesn't do damage, I don't think. I guess it's worth trying, but uh, it's not... Uh, it is, in fact, not an attack. Um, I don't think we're going to need that much DP that urgently, so let's deploy Doc. Get going, quickly. He was very excited for what's going on here. Um, ah, Fuse is within the line of fire, which is less than ideal. Oh dear. Alright, so we got to see the funny fuse ability. So yeah, so they've got kind of a, a bomber man thing going for them, it seems like. Hmm. These barricades... Might be blocking enemy movement, actually. The question is, how do we want to... Actually, er... Yeah, this... Something like this could be okay. Ah. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to our defense, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. 
Okay. Anyway, so we know what the issue is with the Grenadiers, and that is that they immediately explode us. Let's and that's uh, not so good. So, Myrtle was okay where she was, but maybe could have been placed somewhere slightly better. Um, um, yeah, I don't know... I don't know that the, the Fuse strat that we chose was necessarily the strat. Um, Doc could be good to place a little bit earlier. He is more effective if he's blocking some, or if he's not blocking, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Um, Leos, healing wings. Leos, placing Fuse here will allow us to, uh, allow him to block enemies. I'm a little bit wary about concentrating my forces too much. Tomimi actually, deploying her like this might be a little bit better. I've got your backs. Can't stim the enemies, or at least not in a way that would be beneficial to us. Um, I guess not at all, really, so. Um, placing Fuse here is also probably less than ideal. Because, yeah, with this, we can't rightly place someone in front of Da. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. These barricades are going to slowly get damaged over time by the Grenadiers. You are... <laughs> oh, I love their little walk. Oh, it's very fun. Anyway, um... Oh dear, Tamimi's not in a great way, huh? If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. We're counting on you again today, little apple. How do we want to swing this? Um, I guess Perfumer is, well, I don't know. I don't like the idea of her having to, come on, get it together. I don't know. I want Perfumer somewhere so that she can passively heal, but I think where she would be best would probably be Let's in Gabriel's place. So this is a um, we're sort of losing the block race here, so... Remember, I will stay focused. Okay. So, we're clearing enemies out. I guess I probably didn't need to deploy a croissant to do that. Um, the Grenadier is going to be targeted now, I believe. Yep. And Tomimi is going to go down. So yeah, a little too little, too late on Perfumer. But I suppose as long as the enemies aren't... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't like what's going on here very much, but we can live with it. Myrtle. Oh, hmm. What would be a good way to do this? Oh, well. Not that, but... We've done it anyway, so. Let's see. Maybe placing... If we had placed Ayla, say, up there and had her facing right, she could maybe do a little bit of damage to the Grenadiers. Um, but we're now having the issue of enemies piling up, which I don't like. Not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the best thing in the world. Um, some damage here could be something, but I don't know if it's that really valuable. Placing her in the front would probably make her a little bit more exposed than I would really like. But we've only got so many options, so we need to do something. Um, Alright. Interesting that that Grenadier just kind of stopped. Um, oh, the, okay. So the grenades that they shoot just have infinite range. I was wondering if we could maybe outrange them, but uh, no, actually, we can't. But we can do that. Yes, again, we can't do anything with Doc right now to increase his DPS, but we don't necessarily need to because we can explode people with fuse. With 
Very good. Very good. It even has the classic sound. Sit. But yeah, we've only got like one more grenadier that has any grenades. So honestly, we can probably just like put Myrtle down or something. Myrtle did get exploded a little bit, but you know, we're fine. We're gonna beat the mission anyway. Not too big of a deal. Just kind of something we had to think a little bit about. Remember and time for another funny Fuse ability. Unfortunate that Fuse didn't actually get the chance to like do much there, but we got to use the funny Fuse ability at least once. So there's that. I almost wonder if uh, Raynell's going to explode his own Galleria, I wonder. Or maybe, maybe he's going to do something really unexpected and, uh, like, side with the, uh, artist community. I probably shouldn't be pausing too much to speculate there, but it's really interesting to me. But yeah, he could be planning to blow up the... Yeah, I don't know, okay. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me for a moment while I think... Yeah. So he's got explosive placed. He wants to give something a a magnificent death. I assume probably not himself. But his gallery is maybe not out of the question. I feel like the the most likely answers would be the most obvious answer given the sort of nature of the reveal is the idea of it maybe being the artist community, but that seems unlikely to me. I don't feel like that's probably the theory. If you have theories, I would love to hear them as well. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like that's... That's not the choice that I would go for, because I don't think that would make for a very interesting narrative. But yeah, it would just sort of make him unnecessarily just sort of, like, evil for no real reason, I don't think, and no real payoff. Um, yeah, um, yeah, no, like, build up to the payoff. It just makes him evil for no reason. Um, and yeah, given his, the sympathies he's expressed for them, I don't think that they would really match up with that. Anyway, beyond that, the second, like, the first thought that I had was that maybe he's planning to blow up the Galleria, which is not outside of the realm of possibility but another thought that i've had now is that maybe he could be planning to like i was saying side with the artists and sort of blow up something that's of of value to mateo and cause some issues for their forces his forces and the other the other folks who are trying to sort of snatch up that area but yeah anyway back to the story <laughs> Booker, is something the matter? The Miss Candela, the captain, is growing restless. Raynell's toyed with him for so long, and he's restless only now. Our man just sent word. He's planning to use violence to deal with the street art community. Violence in my domain? Where did he find the guts? Someone in the coalition government supports him. He has the power to deploy all of the coalition's military forces with resources within the city. Well, those fools are certainly learning to extend their reach. Could we do something to stop this plan of his? Let's not, for the time being. That art community's always been a whimsical bunch, making trouble for the city government. They'd be doing me a favor if they managed to take care of our problems here. But you need to keep a close eye on them. Mateo's a short-sighted and greedy man. With this much power in his hands, I doubt his intentions will stay all that pure. I would argue that they're probably not very pure right now. That aside, Miss Candela, will you be attending the Galleria Cristalwa's uh, opening ceremony in a few days? <sighs> Another boy who loves looking for trouble. I'll pass. Have someone send a congratulatory gift. Mm, please excuse me, then. Wait a moment. I have something else I need Ernesto to take care of for me. Remember to pass this on to him. Yes, I know that Candela is quite uh, important to other 
events taking place in and around Dust Souls, or at the very least, at least one of them. I haven't seen Dust Souls Holiday, the event, so I don't know that much about her. Raydell, do you remember me? We met a few years ago. Yes, you're... Hold on, don't remind me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Mr. Norris, right? We bid on the same Minoan statue three years ago? Your excellent memory has left a profound impression on me. You keep talking about the statue that night. You even recalled the prior collectors who had owned the piece. Right, that's one of my qualities, remembering just about everything. It's been a while, but you've changed a lot. You're much more like your father now that you've matured. That's probably not something he wanted to hear, given what we've heard. It's too bad he left us all too soon before he could see that I'm what I'm accomplishing now. Alright. <laughs> now that he says that, I'm even more convinced that, that he's going to blow up the gallery. Or something like that. He's going to do something that is going to be sort of... Seems like it would be counterproductive to his interests, but probably serves his, like, actual values as a person. I don't know. Maybe I'm Maybe I'm being too generous to him, but... He hasn't given me the impression of, I don't know, we've learned that he's more scheming than he appears, but he's never given me the impression of being like, like I said, he's never given me the impression of being evil, of him suddenly being evil would like, feels like it would be weird. Don't be sad, even if he's here to witness, even if he isn't here to witness it, he is no doubt proud that his son's achievements are exceeding his own. I sure hope so. Mr. Kowalski, I've been looking for you. Hey, Chetty, how have you been? Iberian Fresco just made it into the exhibition hall downstairs. You've been going all across the world this past year collecting these masterpieces, haven't you? I was last year. This year I'm planning on buying as many Yanni's ink wash paintings as I can. I didn't expect your investment outlook to change so quickly. You're getting the wrong idea, Raynell. It's not our outlook that's changing quickly. It's Mr. Chetty whose mind is changing all the time. Sounds like fun. He just remarried this year. From what I hear, the lady is very into ink wash paintings. On that note, let me get straight to the point, Mr. Kowalski. I want to get rid of those frescoes, and fast. Do you know a way to clear them out? Mary isn't keen to keep Catherine's collection. I should be able to facilitate that. I'll do what I can. Please, don't be so humble. Your sis fans Kowalski's son. Years ago, your father took less than two weeks to round up all my... Ayla's here. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Raynell. I didn't know you were standing there. What's your problem, woman? Don't you see the three of us? Gentlemen, this is my bodyguard. I will reprimand her in a moment. Do you maybe need a change of clothes? Of course I do. I can't stand around drenched in wine. Please excuse me, gentlemen. Probably he, she isn't, he isn't going to reprimand her at all. Probably that was uh, just the escape that he wanted. <laughs> Thanks for that. If one more person had approached me there, I would have suffocated to death. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. I thought you wouldn't be out here today. The art community's puppet show is tomorrow. There must be lots to take care of there. Our contact, our contract is still in effect. What a touching spirit of obligation. So what about after it comes to an end? Where will you go? What's that on your back? Oh, my scars? Nothing to worry about. Just the price I paid for certain betrayals. Literally backstabbed, apparently. Once the contract is over, we'll leave Dussels and search for our lost teammates. In that case, I guess it's not likely we'll meet again. With a stubborn employer like me, if it wasn't for the contract, you would have left long ago, right? I'm something of a troublesome employee, too. I'm pretty surprised that you've managed to put up with me all this time. Thank you for your help. I hope everything works out for you in the future, Mr. Raynell. You didn't bring me a gift, did you? Yeah, an album. I bought it from an artist at the community. The name here seems to ring a bell. Oh, I remember now. He wrote a 27-minute song last year just to curse at me. 
I didn't know that. I just thought you should take a listen to his songs. No matter. No need to fret. I already got my revenge. What did you do? I bought out the rights to a fair number of his songs from the, his previous company. Then I gave them to the band he reviles most to cover. I'll leave the album here. If you want to listen to it, knock yourself out. If not, then so be it. A fun way to be petty, I suppose. Very interesting way, if nothing else. Yes, he did indeed rip out the phone line when I called a few days ago. Please give me a little more time. I will do whatever it takes to get my hands on that plot of land. Our development project will move ahead as scheduled. Sir, I'm, I'm sure you know how loyal I am. It's not that I don't care, but this is a little tricky. The businessman who has development rights there isn't being very cooperative. We can go soft or we can go hard on him, but it won't matter. I've tried going straight to the community myself, but the people there are tough to crack. We've tried and failed. No, it's not an excuse. It really is where things stand right now. Besides, it seems there is another faction within the coalition government that's backing right now. I don't want to be rash here. Yes, I'm incompetent for not having found anything on them. This is why, if I may be so bold, I'd like to ask if you have any clues at all. Say, who would want to steal this slice of pie from your hands? No, I'm not questioning your position within the coalition at all. It's just a possibility. You want me to proceed without a care to this? Is this really okay if I offend anyone with these actions? Very well, if you say so, I won't betray your expectations. The pressure is on Mateo as well. Capitan, not even that gentleman knows who they are? He doesn't, but he also doesn't care. He gave me the highest command on Dust Souls, hinting I must take care of this quickly. What about Candela? He says he will take care of her. If we have his full support, then this will surely be solved without issue, but you... you don't seem very happy? Think about it. What kind of subordinate needs a superior's full support to finish something? A trusted one? Hmm. The useless one, of course. I was hoping to put on a great performance bringing this development plan to fruition, but now he'll probably just think of me as an idiot who needs him to clean my messes. Once we get that plot of land and all this is over with, he might just not care anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. He's got this kid working for him who's been rising through the ranks. Supposedly, he's sending him the hair. I don't want to be replaced. I'll have to do more than get my hands on that land. I need some extra accomplishments. Do you have any ideas? Of course, and I've had this in mind for some time now. rennell has been jerking me around like I'm a fool, and if I don't return the favor, that would make me just look like a wimp. Now, if I could swallow up his art museum, too. There are two days until his opening ceremony, for this little time. Looks like I'll have to take the cruelest, riskiest route for this. Probably he has something to do with these hostages that we've been hearing so much about. Weird. This is too weird. Ernesto, I saw the garage lights on. You haven't gone to bed? Arletta? Uh, come in. Still working on the community stuff. Everyone's so busy they've been these so busy these last couple of days. <sighs> if only. I'd be so much more passionate. I'm working on repaying a favor. Favor from finding the medicine last time? Anything I can help with? What are you talking about? No, it's a personal thing. Rather, don't try to do everything on your own. If you need me for anything, let me know before it's too late. Relax, it's nothing big at all. You should go get some rest. Whatever. You've always been like this, keeping just about everything to yourself and never even showing a hint of what you're thinking. Nobody can help you at all. You're overthinking it, Arletta. How's this overthinking it? Keep acting like that. Of course this is what I'm going to think. I'm going. Should get some rest soon. I'm interested to see sort of how Tequila and uh, Catapult are acquainted. Because I know she just referred to him as brother, but I'm 
fairly confident that she isn't his brother, considering that she is a Karanta and he is a Pero. But yeah, um, at least perhaps not in the literal sense. Maybe Catapult was also involved in another uh, Dust Souls event. Again, I can I only know one off the top of my head, and I don't think Catapult was in it, but I also don't know enough about it to know that she wasn't. So. <sighs> letting you help out isn't the same as letting you get involved in this mess. Don't blame me for this one. Hmm. I wonder if Tequila has some connection to the uh, coalition government then. Weird. How does such a large shipment of explosives disappear without a trace as soon as it entered the city? There's another shipment on the 28th, another one on the 3rd of next month. There were also a few shipments of brewing ingredients around the same time. Is that how they made it in? No, the routes don't match up. There were four inspection checkpoints. There's no way they could have got through them without being discovered. Unless shipments were never going to be inspected in the first place. So precious that nobody dared to check them. Luxuries. Fine wine. That's not precious enough. Probably something that could easily fetch hundreds of millions of dollars. No, I have to check out this Galleria Cristawa. Ugh. Oh, what's going on? You've been holed up in here, crying the whole time. Luck hasn't been on my side today. Came across all these weird transpositions. What's the bass clef? I'm a trumpeter. What was the composer thinking? It only occurred to me when the her rehearsal began that my score has a long multi-rest with only a couple of notes between here and there. Was there a grace note above the rest? No, it's just a bunch of whole rests over a hundred measures in a row. I counted all the way up and I realized I must have miscounted because I entered too soon. It was a very loud note. Everyone stopped and looked at me. Looked at me. Does whoever wrote this music know what a trumpet is? <sighs> Get some rest. Tomorrow will be better. You sure? Tensions are high all around. Our arts festival is tomorrow. Oh, I'm so nervous. Can't sleep. Mind helping me work on my draft? I thought you finished your draft a long time ago. Yeah, I did, but the app froze on me when I was wrapping up yesterday. I went out for dinner while I was waiting for it to unfreeze, and by the time I got back... Ah, stop it. That's enough. Say no more. Stop. W wait, stop. Stop moving around so much when you're clutching your head. My ta tablet's over there. Uh-oh. It's gone. It's all gone. How come I'm so unlucky today? Hmm. Uh-oh. Report. The crosswomen have the high ground. No one has spotted us. Standing by for orders. What a busy day this has been. What time is it? Good, I, I've still got time. I'll head to the city for a drink. Yow! Who would leave such a big rock out in the middle of the road? So inconsiderate. Uh, what's with everything today? Nothing's going right. I'm gonna find a fortune teller tomorrow and do something about my rotten luck. Sorry about this, senor, but you'll have to go back. No one is allowed outside. Who are you? What gives you the right to stop me? Turn around, senor. Hey, who are you people? Who sent you? That's close enough, senor. Soon, more soldiers in uniforms, all with stern expressions and armaments, emerge from the streets and alleys around them and surround the neighborhood. A few black trucks drive between them, churning a flurry of dust. The men start unloading the truck's contents masterfully. The sky may already be getting dark, but the objects they unload are shiningly bright. They start to unfurl rolls of barbed wire in front of everyone, enveloping the whole community. What are you doing? 
Senor, this is just a routine fire inspection. No need to get alarmed. We will greatly appreciate your cooperation. Hmm. Flawless victory! I was pretty good, wasn't I, Doctor? Yes, you did great. So yes, it looks like they are perhaps laying siege. A Rainbow Six siege, if you will. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> so, you probably have time for one more cutscene, if nothing else. This is an interesting one. It doesn't look like the enemy have an immediate route, so it looks like they'll probably have to whoop, break through the barricades in some way. That will be interesting. I suppose it's probably not that much of a surprise, but I just noticed that the uh, the barricades do have a resemblance to some of the like wall assets. I think sort of like the door assets in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. There are certain doors that you can, uh, or I think yeah, I don't know. It's it's a common, somewhat common look for doors. I think usually to have this sort of like that particular pattern with the like yellow X on them. But yes, I don't know, we did do two missions today. We did do two missions today. And we're a little bit late. Let's see, I think... Okay, we did two missions. We did do two missions, so I can't be too upset. I can't be too upset. Um, let's see, if we assume... Yeah, if we assume that this is like nine missions long, then we would need, and we do two missions per stream, then yeah, you do six, seven, then yeah, eight, nine. We could clear it. We could still clear it on Tuesday, but I do, I don't know. I do want to be a little bit more safe than sorry. So I think we're going to go a little bit further. At the very least, we'll have the opportunity to get some intel and i think for sake of smoothness of execution we are going to level up our units a little bit more probably not a tremendous amount but i do want team rainbow to do particularly well in the team rainbow event so let's get everyone yeah let's get everyone a few new tricks not that they'll have new skills after this but Oh, actually, we could also stand to improve their skills. Yeah. It is interesting. Yana is particularly interesting because of the way she works. It's hard to predict. I don't think it's possible to predict, probably, uh, but... Uh, if you holographic recordings? What, sh what she would be best for at the outset of any given mission. I do think that Omniscient Tactics is probably still more widely applicable. But it's hard to say, really, if it's the most applicable on any given mission. No problem. No fight yeah, back on... Back on, uh... CR4, I think it probably would have been best to use the, uh... Her first skill. <coughs> but yes. Knock, knock, knock. Oop, there we go. Duck. This will make things easier. All right. And let's upgrade skills a little bit. I should have done that while I was still on everyone's page, but oh well. But yes, so we can get quite a bit of healing out of Stim Pistol now. It does. Okay, so the burst healing from Stim Pistol is good. That much can be said with confidence. The only question is, how often is it going is it going to be good versus having a uh, yeah versus having the effect of violent response? And again, that's not something we can say too much, but I do think violent response is more broadly applicable. All right, yeah, optical interference versus shock defense. Hmm. I do very much like the effect of optical interference still. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, optical interference gives us more traps, if nothing else. Um, more traps more often. Because, yeah, even if we use shock defense on cooldown every time it comes off cooldown, um, we're still having the 20 second duration of it. So we're getting traps roughly half as often. Physical, splash physical damage, that's good. But yes. Um, attack range decreases. I don't know quite how much it decreases by, which could be a little bit of an issue. Um, Yana. Whoops. Upgrade. All right. So yes, ink immediate damage versus, yeah, does it? Okay, no, Omniscient Tactics allows her to, yeah, get rid of invisibility. Mirage Mind does not. And yeah, I don't think, yeah, Gemini Replicator just gives Fragile to enemies. I guess, yeah, Gemini Reflector does also, it synergizes a little bit better with Mirage Mind. Synergizes a little bit more with Mirage Mine, and it uh, and it does still get rid of invisibility. Yes, Omniscient Tactics though nullifies the enemies around. So yeah, so that's good if you're dealing with a lot of invisible enemies. Mirage Mine is more so if yeah to sort of like draw in the fire from those crossbowmen that we've seen don't know that we're going to have them on this next level so I think Omniscient Tactics again is the more widely applicable one so it's the one we're going to use. But yes again I feel like Force Recon is probably more widely applicable and I think we're probably going to go with that. All right one way or the other we can get at least through a uh, cutscene. <laughs> Techno, Papa, there are soldiers putting up barbed wire downstairs. Soldiers? What are they doing here? They showed us warrants. They say they're here to investigate fire hazards. Funny way to use barbed wire, but okay. What? Uh, is that something that the military handles? Isn't this a job for those dumb civil servants? Techno, take the elderly and children away from here. Go to the Rhodes Island office and get Ernesto. Everyone else, come with me and bring weapons. Don't get count, count on getting a good night's sleep. I'm staying. You have the best arts of us all. You're the only one I can trust to get them out of here. But... Heck no. I'm giving you an important mission. Protect them at all costs. Okay, Papa. It is, in fact, getting intense. Luckily, Team Rainbow is an expert at dealing with these sorts of things. May I ask your purpose here? Diaz Gonzalez, I remember you. You came to Dust Souls and became a, firef a firefighter after you left the Singas army. You fought fires for five years, putting yourself in danger countless times and earning just as many commendations. How did you fall so far as to end up in this stinking place? I'm a firefighter. Doesn't matter where I am, I'm always fighting fires. A fire in a luxury hotel is still a fire, and so is a fire in a back alley. If there's a fire, I can and will fight it. Uh, the way I see it, you're one of us, Diaz. I'm sure you'll cooperate, right? Enough. I know what it is you're scheming. You call this a fire safety inspection, but you're just trying to chase us away. This is all in the interest of safety. You don't want a repeat of that disaster a couple of years ago, do you? Hmm. Get out of here. I have things under control. You don't get to tell us what to do. Oh, that simply won't do, Diaz. This puppet show has drawn the eyes of the entire city. What happens is more what happens is about more than just you now. We'll make sure that your show doesn't have an adverse effect on the public at large. I told you to get lost. Oh, you don't get it, do you? We're here to conduct an inspection. We came prepared. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, boys, make sure you check every last one of them. Don't let any potential danger slip through your fingers. Anyone who gets in the way of our inspection is endangering public safety. Show them no mercy. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. So, yes. So, this does, in fact, involve hostages, I think. Oh, yeah, these thugs. Heck no, I'm scared. Where are we going? Some bad guys forced their way into our neighborhood. It's not safe here, so I'm taking you to Ernesto. What about the others? Are we just going to leave them here? Papa told me to look after you. He said... You'd stay and take care of the rest. They're coming this way. We need to hurry. Sit. What's this about? Inspect all the puppets' power lines. If you find anything risky, tear them all out. Hey, it took me forever to put all this together. Leave those alone. Out of the way, public nuisance. Come on, man. Don't do this. Be reasonable. You're looking at half a year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears. Don't ruin it. Please, don't. Like I care about how many months you put into this. I should lock you up right now for this flagrant violation of electrical safety. Stop! No. Chitmare. Enough with the wailing. Don't. What is this place? Some kind of hideout? Didn't expect it to be this clean. Sir, the puppets are right outside that window. Open them up and you'll see. Take a look. See how much foam and wood they have stuffed in them? What if they were to catch fire? Tear them apart. Thugs, all of you, all rot. What a bunch of beasts, so thoughtless. Ugh. Boss! What are you people doing? Didn't I tell you to round them up and bring them to the field? Get the lead out. His people are putting up a struggle. It's been difficult to get them under control. Then follow my lead and start cracking skulls, you idiot. See? Look how calm he is now. Ugh. You. Now, get them out of here. These puppets are huge. It's going to be plenty of work taking them apart. But we're not going to let that happen now, are we? We're almost out. They probably wouldn't expect us to come this way. Abuela, watch your step. The ground is slippery. Let me help you. Uh, Ecno, will we ever come back? Of course, this is our home. But those men tore everything down. If we come back, we'll have to spend so much time to get everything back to how it was. I'll pay for that, I swear. When we get back, I'll help you put everything right, I promise. Quickly now, it's still a long walk to the office. Abuelita, I'll help you. Stay close, everyone. All right. Back now? Ellie? Uh, come in. Hurry. What are you guys doing here? Where's Ernesto? I need his help. He said he had something personal to take care of and went off on his own. He's still not back. Ayla and the others are the only ones here now. What's going on? Or Ayla and I are the only ones here now. What's going on? Coalition forces have surrounded the neighborhood. They're tearing down our puppet show under the guise of a fire inspection. Papa told me to bring everyone here to lay low. Heck no. What's the situation over there now? I, I don't know. On the way here, all I could hear was, this, was the sound of them breaking everything. A lot of people were crying, and I don't know if they were hurt or not. Those thugs. I, I need to go back. I'm worried about Papa. He was acting brave, telling me to leave him and deal with the soldiers. And let him deal with the soldiers. But 
He's not nearly as strong as he used to be. He's old now, even if his tongue is as sharp as ever. I have to go, Ayla. Don't cry. Heck no. We'll go with you. We will help you. Akir needs to stay and take care of the elderly and the children. Don't worry about them. Ayla, Techno's people here are all fine. They don't need me. It's the ones in that neighborhood who need my help. I'll go with you. These vents are way too long. Covered in dust. How is it, Doc? Can you get down? I have pretty broad hips. I think I'm stuck. Give me your hand. I'll pull you out. Uh, oof. Vents may be great for you guys to crawl around, but I have a hard time just squeezing myself into them. We have the place completely surrounded, and they're covering it the way we came out, too. The vents are our only path. Use, give me a sit rep. It's more complicated than we thought. They have a large number of troops stationed outside the neighborhood. I had to break off, but the explosives are in place. Ready to detonate. <sighs> How's it looking outside the window? There are way more men than I anticipated. They took everyone outside. Is anyone hurt? Yes. Then, is anyone? No, don't worry. They're alive. <sighs> That's good to hear. Ella, there are snipers on the roof. We need to take care of them first. Doc, you and Techno stay here. Wait for our signal before you act. What are you looking for, Techno? Storage device. All our design documents are stored on it. We destroyed our puppets, but as long as we still have that, we can rebuild them someday. I'll help you look for it. Ah. Well, I thought I was just up here for a smoke. Didn't run it, expect to run into a few sneaky m muse beasts. I'll deal with him. Go get the storage device. It's on the top shelf of that cabinet. All right. Senorita, maybe you should let your friend take me on instead. A little girl like you can't lay a, land a finger on me. Oh, yeah? <sighs> you shouldn't have taunted her. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to look down on people? Time to teach you a lesson. Ah, oh, my leg! Little girl. I'm a little, little girl because I'm short. My nose! Little girl. It's a chingada. Dealt with him. Did you find the storage device? Bad news. There's nothing on the top of the cabinet. Someone took the device. Who... Who could have taken it? You can stop glaring at me, Senor Diaz. I asked you to cooperate with us. You only have yourself to blame for all these wounded. <laughs> you can drop the act. Who are you trying to fool? Hold him down. Oof. Here's them, fellow. If I didn't have my men here, you might have actually cut me down. <laughs> I'm afraid I have some bad news. Our inspection turned up a lot of serious hazards, especially those puppets. Once activated, they could have a serious adverse effect on the whole neighborhood's energy supply, maybe even the surrounding neighborhoods. That's why I gathered all of you here, to give you a warning. Who sent you? There are plenty who think I'm fondly of this place, and just as many who want to get rid of us. But all they ever do is come at us. They don't spare a thought to what we do. Once you're there, your top priority is to destroy those puppets and do it in full view of everyone. Cut off water and electricity. Drive them out of the place. That comes later. For now, we provoke them, anger them, and then... 
Draw the fires of their fury where they must burn. I'll be waiting there for good news. Except him. Except that man. You really have to ask if you've already figured it out. Is all is this all of them? Do it. The moment the officer gives the order, the soldiers standing by swarm in. The puppets' bodies are rapidly torn apart, their materials and internal wiring scattered all across the ground, until only their heads lean against each other. Their once swift pupils fall from their eye sockets, exposing the torn wiring instead, inside. There is a deafening silence among the assembled crowd, and he chooses to look away, unable to bear witness to this atrocity. Only Diaz looks on with, uh, without oh, so much as a blink. His eyes are filled with fury. Ah, oh, right. I found this storage device on one of your shelves. I had the man check it for me. Your design documents are all in here, along with a bunch of other things. You've destroyed enough already. Won't you spare us this? We have to eradicate all threats, Senor Diaz. An almost inaudible weeping can be heard in the silent crowd. Even a man as headstrong as Diaz is unable to keep his eyes stony. Give that to me, you thug. Who's there? Yeah. There we go. Out of the way. Konya, she snatched it. What are you idiots doing? Who let this punk in here? Seize her. You. Stop resisting and hand that over. Let go of me. Trying to use arts. Ugh. Hand it over. In your dreams. You dare kick me? The officer, after getting a kick in the face from Techno, angrily shoves her to the ground and attempts to snatch the device back, but the Durin keeps a tight grip on it throughout the whole ordeal. After multiple fruitless attempts, the officer gives up. He stands up, expressionless, and stomps violently onto Techno's tightly clenched fist. Again and again, until his soul is, until his soul is dyed solid crimson. Still won't let go, huh? I won't. Take it from me, if you can. The moment he lifts his knee again, a red beam shines from the roof of a building up above, with a small red dot landing on his forehead. By stomping her again. If you want to know what it feels like to have three bullets enter your body at the same time, go ahead. What? <laughs> Took you so long. I'd die if I leapt from the fourth floor of the building. Hmm. Take your men with you, sir. All of them. Or you'll have more thin bullets. Waving hello. Fine. We completed our objective. No reason to waste any more time with you. Notify all units. We're pulling out. So we're not quite in time to save the, the art Enough itself. Talk. Now we act. Okay, so each time this unit is blocked, the next attack attack is greatly increased. Oh dear. What kind of battle will it end up being? So, yes. So, it looks Let's like we found the answer to uh the question of what they're going to do. Hmm. I don't like this fellow, and I do want him to uh perish soon. So Let's see what we can do about that. One way or the other, we need... I forgot to switch Fuse back to his first skill, so now we're going to have to deal with the fact that he has plus charge. But yes, I want him to... Yeah, I want to Fuse because I wanted a Centurion guard. Um, We do want this guy dealt with soon. And, like, effectively. I got this. Ooh, Healing okay. wings. We, we're going to want a medic sooner rather than later because we're going to need to be able to heal Ayla as she is going to be taking some damage. I won't be afraid. Oh dear. 
Well, the uh, Ayla option didn't last quite as long as I was hoping for. Um, what else can we do? How else can we swing this? Um, yeah, there's nothing Fuse can do with this skill, I don't think, so we're just kind of going to have to live with it. Um, Akuma. This is not a great situation to be in. Um, we have... No, we didn't switch back to Violent Response either. Oh dear. Alright, so all of my planning has uh, gone awry. Now, what are you doing? Oh, you're making another path. Okay. Um, that's no good. So these guys probably also have pretty high... Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh no, you're just breaking more barricades. Can we, like, make these barricades not break, maybe? Not like that. Um... Yes, no... Uh, uh, this is not good. <laughs> So, everyone's getting shot all the time, and Myrtle has gone down. Um... Poisson. Jessica is outside of healing range, which is very bad for her. Yana can exist. Uh, yes. Stay calm, my friend. I guess we can... Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, four... Four times, I guess, does mean that it can be... That it can block four enemies. Um... Alright. So. Desperately, desperately, desperately. We need to make sure that the... That Croissant does not get stunned. Alright, well. That's worse than Croissant getting stunned. So, uh... It's too bad we didn't win. But mm. I won't let it discourage me. So yeah, so we're going to lose a lot of cover very quickly there. But, we do also have a new device, don't we? Yes, Mind Deployer. So, just sends a detection line that forward that extends until it reaches high ground. Enemies who cross the detection line will be tagged with time bombs that also de de detonate originium explosives when they explode. I don't think that's what we need. Because I don't... I feel like we probably don't need that except unless we, you know have a Reaginium Explosives to detonate. So, all of these barricades are going down if we don't do something about it. So let's try to figure out what we can do about it. First of all, we do definitely need to get everyone switched over to more applicable Does skills. At your command. So, Ayla was fine, I think. Yana... Could go either way, I think. Um, placing Yana further forward would allow her to more easily be able to unstealth the archers, but that really doesn't benefit us that much. A solid core of croissant is valuable, of course. Um, more medics would be good. Switching off of Myrtle faster would be good, I think. Um, this is all the enemies that we're facing. The advance guards, as expected, have low resistance. What are they made of grumpy old veterans who take their who take out their anger towards their superiors on anything standing in their way. Uh so. So so so. How do we want to swing this? Tamimi is still our only source of arts damage. Our only consist well, no, Asthesia's here, never mind. That's it. <clears throat> But yeah, ideally, we don't want the advance guards being blocked as much as possible. We want them to be taken out before they get blocked. Hmm. Shock defense will give us fewer stuns, but it will give more attack and it will give more defense. So... Time to show you what I can do. I think we'll try it out. Yeah, again, I don't think we're in a situation where Fuse can really shine that well. Though again, well, not again, I didn't say anything before, but yeah, deploying Fuse here, such that he can cluster charge here, could be good if we set up defenses here. Get a little bit less killboxy about it. Um, 
But yes, that could be good. Of course, but then we still have the issue that uh, he's not going to be able to make use of his abilities as a Centurion, which is less than ideal. The right-hand side, I don't really know enough about what was happening there to really say what we need to defend one side versus another. But we do need a solid defense on both sides, and we might see about investing again. We might see about investing into uh, another defender if we need to. Good scenery here, Doctor. Yes. So the barricades standing in the way are gone now. I'm not sure that this was really the play, but it's a decision that we've made, and so I'm going to, uh, well, I was going to say I'm going to stick to it. I don't have any choice but to stick to it. Um, almost certainly wasn't the play, though. Um, Try not oh. to get yourselves hurt. An eye for an eye. Here's a memento. All right, let's do some stunning and some blasting and a little bit more stunning. That's very good. I like that. And since she has the defense, we don't need to worry so much about the enemies. Okay, so. Fuse. So, the right hand side is going to start taking damage soon, and we don't want that. So, of course, as we are now, Jessica is going to prioritize the enemies in a way that we don't necessarily really, that I'm not necessarily too thrilled about. But yes. I suppose now's probably the time to see if we can get these uh, defenses boosted. Not one step backward. Um, yes, actually, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, with that in mind, given that we know that we can reinforce these to a meaningful extent, let's reinforce these to a meaningful extent, huh? I'll show them what I can do. Yes, now our medic is taking damage, That's and I don't like that. Calm, I suppose most people don't, but... Um, nope, that was the wrong device. Okay. You'll, you'll pay for that. Um, I don't want this one to go down because I want Jessica to be safe. Um, more defense is good. More violence is good. Myrtle can give more deployment points, which is also good. I suppose, actually, I'd need to start making use of these somewhat. Um, ah, right, she got stunned. Okay, so she's losing duration on her skill, but we can stun in return. Ah, but we can't stun an enemy who is blocked or, yeah, who is invisible. Okay, we need to start doing arts damage. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, um... So yes, Myrtle's a little bit stunned, but we don't... We're not as worried about Myrtle. Um... I think we can probably switch out Myrtle now. Um... I don't know that Croissant is necessarily the choice, but she is a choice. Um... Anesthesia is rel... I was going to say is relatively tough. I guess she's not that tough. Um, hold on, did they... Okay. Um, okay. Your story doesn't end here. So they really went through croissant there, huh? The song. Um, okay. So let's, each time the unit is blocked, does that include barricade? If so, it might be, if so, we probably don't want to start blocking them until we can be confident we can take them out. Okay, I think, 
I've been keeping Tamimi around as much just for the, the sake of it as for anything else, but I really think that we need to switch her out for someone else. We need like a medic who has a skill that's valuable to us, or a, we need a pastor who has a skill that's valuable to us, and Tamimi is not it. Not that her skills can't be useful, I'm sure that they can be, but this is not the place. This is not the time or place. We need someone who is a little bit more practical. So, what can I do for you? let's try out Steward. Um, let's see, Earth Spirit maybe could also be switched out. Um, I'm very worried about those, uh, yeah, I'm very worried about those, uh, guys, uh, advanced guards. Oh dear, hold on a sec. So yes, the advanced guards are a big, big problem. So yeah, every time this unit is blocked, the attack of the the next attack's attack is greatly increased. So when they when they say is blocked, what does that mean? I wonder. Does it mean just like whenever someone stops them? If so, would that be just once per block? Or does it mean that, like... Well, I guess that's the only thing it can really mean, right? Because that's what being blocked means in this context. Or in the context of this game in general. Being stopped from moving. We did have a lot of them on Croissant. So yeah, we definitely need arch damage on the right-hand side. There is no, no getting around that. No, no bones about it. I don't anticipate this being anywhere near a successful attempt, but, <clears throat> but I do want to we'll take this opportunity to, uh, yeah, take this opportunity to get well, a little bit more intel. Here. The bad guys are coming to donate their gear. Good scenery here, doctor. Okay, so we need someone on the field quickly. But yes, Myrtle will not be able to block on her own. We cannot afford to place a ranged operator currently. We need to get another blocker on the field, and Doc is get going quickly. He's very enthusiastic about his role. So Ayla is okay for the what we're using her for, I think. We're counting on you again today, little apple. I almost wonder if something like Earth Spirit Maybe not here specifically, but like I'm Earth ready. Spirit somewhere would be good. She's arch damage and she's slowing. I got this. But now that I think about it, we probably should have been a little bit more careful because we're gonna want a medic and we do have a medic now, so we're not so as concerned. Um stuns. Okay, well, that didn't go so well. Violent Let's response go. it is. Yes, that's very good. Use. Remain okay. So. We did lose out on some Ayla time, which is definitely not ideal. Um, Steward. Where's the best place to put Steward? I think... No, that's not going to work. Um, we want damage from Steward, like, sooner Understood. rather than later. So, yeah, reinforcing these ones specifically is probably going to be the play. But the battle plan you shouldn't have set foot here. Down you go. Yeah, that one is pretty low. Yes. Come on, chill out. Focus on um, down you go. Yeah, he's oh, doing okay. Having the skills active sooner oh, rather than later is good, I think. Today. How else can we contribute here? Well, okay. So, these devices that can be used for cover can be deployed on melee tiles, which I wasn't expecting. 
Myrtle uh, got stunned. I was going to say went down, but she did not. Um, Myrtle is fine. We are out of casting, so that's not great. Um, I got this. So, this is pretty bad. But it's not untenable. Yeah, having another caster could probably be good. Um, Go for me. Ayla can't be blocked, so she's not in too much Stay danger outside. here. But yeah, Smyrtle. I feel like DP is good. Um, violent response. Yes. Stay calm. Okay, so I think how this works is... It seems to, like, activate for a second each time it goes off. I was thinking that it would just, like... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure... Ugh. I don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like anything that's happening here. Um... Okay, well... So I needed to I needed to keep them waiting longer because now they're just going to dismantle Croissant. Yeah, because uh, one one shot from them just takes her out. Down you go. Ha oh, shucks. First I lost the fight, and now my wallet. All right. Well, I've got a pretty good idea of what we need to accomplish there. Because, yeah, we need range damage on the right-hand side, and we need to start taking those those enemies out fast. Because, yeah, we cannot afford to let them hit even our toughest unit. But, yeah, potentially could be a job for, say, Cement, but Cement doesn't have enough, like, she can't block more than one. Um, and we wouldn't want her to block more than one, to be honest. Yeah, having her duel could be okay, but it's not really what we want, I don't think. We need to use the deployable cover more. I didn't really know how it worked before, but now I've got a better idea. So yeah, temporary cover intercepts enemy sh and direct shots from nearby enemies for one second. It can be used for up to four times. So what I had assumed from that was block shots for one second. So you place it down and it lasts for one second and then it goes away. And up to four times meant, I had assumed that up to four times meant that it, uh, I had assumed that up to four times meant that, I just realized this is the, uh, I think that's based off of, uh, what was, what was his name? Jaeger, an operator from Rainbow Six Siege who has a, uh, device that destroys incoming grenades. Um, anyway, <laughs> little aside there. Um, where was I? Right. Temporary cover. So I'm assuming how it works now that we've seen it in action is that it triggers when it is hit, and when it is hit, it blocks shots for one second, basically, rather than uh, what I had assumed, which was you can use it, like you get four of them per mission and they block shots for one second each, which wouldn't have been very good <laughs> and is why I wasn't using them before. But yes, the block reinforcement device we need to use to stop the uh, forward, uh, what's their, you know, the guys. We need to use that to stop their advance because if they are allowed to advance, they will reach a point where they will simply destroy us and just walk through our, our defenses. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. But yeah, so we could hope to get real lucky with Miracle Field, but I don't trust that. <laughs> I do not trust like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any other way around it. We just need to eliminate them quickly. Being able to deal damage to more than one at a time could be good. So a Phalanx, the Phalanx caster or a Splash caster could be good. Or a Chain caster. I've never used a Chain caster before now that I think about it. Anyway, so some type of caster is good. We want arch damage on them. We don't want melee arch damage, so Astesia is not so great. The left-hand side is handled pretty well with uh, melee units. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of the units we have are a little bit expensive as part of the issue. 
So switching Myrtle back to her first skill could be good. I think that I think honestly that's probably more valuable than keeping her on healing wings because I don't think she needs to be able to heal in this specific instance. So, anyway, we're not going to play the mission again because uh, we're very late. So, let's wrap up. All right. Thank you for joining me tonight. It has been quite fun. I'm getting quite into this, the story and the game. Uh, and I'm... I don't know. I wish I could have had a little bit more time to do a little bit more. But we've gained valuable information that will speed us along later on into our play. So, starting Monday, we will be resuming. I want to try to aim a little bit earlier if I can, maybe. But I'm not going to make any promises on that, as per usual. Um... But yeah, Monday, we will almost certainly be streaming if it is all, at all within my power. I can't guarantee that it will be, but I will do what I can. Um, Tuesday, likewise. Friday, Friday. Friday does not, is not, uh, not relevant to this discussion. Wednesday, also. We will do this until such time as we are done with the uh, event. And if we need to upgrade our units more than I usually do to get through the event at a reasonable pace, then we shall. Of course, you know. I can't complain too much because, again, we're getting to pretty high levels with relatively low-level units, so. Anyway. So, I can only... I can only... Yeah, I can only care so much for challenge runs when I'm in a situation where I need to get through this in a faster, yeah, in a more timely manner. We could always, I could always say, oh, I should have started sooner, could have, could have gone longer, could have not skipped a day, but, you know, all I've got are the hands that I've got left in my hands, cards that I've got left in my hand. So, I will play them out to the best of my ability, and we will see what happens. But, I can, I am, I feel confident in saying that I will, I feel confident in saying that we will get through the event. I don't think it's going to be quite as dire as the Monster Hunter event, if for no other reason than because we've learned a lot since then, and we've gone, we've gotten a lot better at the game. But yes, so... Another thing I've noticed is that we've not had any drop frames today, so that's very nice. Anyway, so, raid. If you have any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own. Otherwise, um, yeah, we'll go over the schedule. So, once again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Arknights, Operation Lucid Arrowhead, in as much as is necessary to get through the event. After that, I will probably take a break from playing Arknights for a little while. Probably take a break for the rest of the week, if nothing else. I do intend to get back to the game pretty quick, because I do want to get through the game as a whole. But yes, so those streams will probably start roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I will aim to do them earlier so we have more time, if possible. Yes, thanks for the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, it is always a pleasure, and it is always a pleasure to have company as well. But yes, anyway, so, where was I? Right, so, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Arknights, as much as necessary to get through the event. Um, yes, that is that. Afterwards, probably won't be streaming on Thursday, but I believe Friday we should be on again for the collab, or at least that should be a possibility. I will have to confirm with Sheps. If so, we should be finishing up uh, Coffee Talk and all of that. So, the Friday stream will most likely be roughly around 9 p.m. Central Time. Again, the Monday through Wednesday streams will probably be around 8.30 Central Time, but I will start earlier if it is all, if it is at all something that would be reasonable for me don't want to, yeah, you know, I want to get through this event, but I also want to take care of myself, especially since I am, uh, you know, yeah, anyway, so, once again, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I will open the floor to you, if not, so be it, sit, 
If not, such is life. So yes, not seeing any, unless there is a last minute suggestion. So perhaps I will draw this out just a little bit longer. Again, no pressure, no pressure, but you know, I'm always lucky. Always like to see other streamers and all that. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, let's see who is online that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, let's see. Let's see. Tundere bands. All right. Not heard of them before. Like I said, I am always, always happy to see new people. Yes, whoops, twitch.tv. All right. Tundere Bands, who is playing some Until Then, which is a game that I am not familiar with. Yes, someone who enjoys JRPGs and visual novels based on the description I'm seeing. So I think uh, probably someone I could get along with. I like JRPGs and visual novels too. But yes, anyway, so. Anyway, where was I? Right, great. Right. So, raid is set up. We've already gone over the schedule. So nothing more to do but to give the usual raid message and then the usual send off. So we have arrived. Also, thank you for the suggestion, Asano. But yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. No problem. See you next time. See you as well. But yes, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.